though saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. But it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. We only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother is the giantess Fjorgun. One of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath this bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I could scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. You know what? I'll tell this one later. That alchemist was needed finding. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. 
fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the Guardian? Giants came back home so they could survive, but I'm not sure they did. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Father! 
Something's happening. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... New giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
The giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. This year? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. The great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow! You actually told a good story! And we missed it! Helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else?
A Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. Aye, same here. If that counts for anything. releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Why were you trapped? I am... uncertain. My mind... still fragmented. The Rokstol of Valkyrs. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. What is that, Mamir? It's a council chamber of sorts, hidden away in Midgard. The Valkyries would often need a place to confer outside of Odin's prying eyes. They thought themselves properly conceived. Didn't think we'd be hunting down Valkyries at the time, brother. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain of it.
which way? You scare up that alchemist, wouldn't you? The boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. Giving you your smart. I can't believe we're back in hell. At least we're not on the side of the bridge where those visions will torture us. It's so cold. <laughs> My spit freezes when I talk. <laughs>
It's another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Hold on! yourself. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Head. Oh. Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like... Romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind that distraction.
Great. We're done here? We can leave? We can go home now? Be warm? For the record, I never need to come back here. Thanks. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? The giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah. Remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. You're smart to find it. Ah, Niflheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. <sighs> what is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. <sighs> Boy. Let's see. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. A strange material. Ah! Fancy seeing you two here! I'm surprised you're here, Andrew. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but... they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the, fire the fires of Moose. Also, it will kill you. There's something written here. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible. Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous. Center chamber.
Another Valkyrie. You're a Niflheim? Freedom. Yes. You are free now. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. Why do they put up such a fight? They are fierce opponents. It is good for you. You know, most parents just want their children to get a full night's sleep. Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. That alchemist would need it find it. to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? Wow. 